Now, good afternoon. Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about Harrow bus station. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. Harrow bus station is a bus station that opened in. I can't remember what year. I think it was 1982. 1982. 1982. And it's served by local bus routes. Bus routes including uh, the 140, N140, X140, now known as SL9, the, the SL10, the 183, 114, H9, H10, H11, H17, 223, H14, H18, H19, H19 and also including two other, and also 182, 340, 258, and of course the 186. But, but also, and two, another bus, two other bus routes, three other bus routes, four other bus routes as well. The N18, the N140, which I already N140, the 640, and also two others included. They are ML1, and of course, and also, and also, not forgetting, and not forgetting the 720. Well, the 718 bus route doesn't serve Harrow bus station itself, it serves Harrow Mill Station's train station instead. And also serves Kenton as well. Also from here, there's facilities as well. Facilities at the bus station, there's like a news agent's chaos shop. And also, is it just me, or is it one of those bus stations where there's toi that has toilets? Very nice to have those. Anyway, but even though they may not smell nice, but they do look good though from the outside. But anyways, good handy tablet though. Sure. Other facilities here were also the train station, of course, Harrow on the Hill, where Metropolitan Line trains go through here, as well as the Chilton trains on Ellsworth Hill Parkway to London Marlborough via Amersham. But isn't it just me, or isn't it the two bus routes for the ML1 are Harrow bus station's least used bus stops? Because they do not directly serve the bus station itself, but rather serve the college. In fact, they do. They don't serve the bus station itself, so instead passengers have to walk through the train station entrance and go to the other side. But one side of the station doesn't have lifts, but the other side of the station does have a lift which is for step free access. Other facilities including are a bakery shop for Wenzel's Bakers, a shop where you can get like flowers and stuff, and fruit and veg, which is like a market stall, and of course a coffee shop. And of course it's the Costas, Costa Coffee. Which we are in right now. And also there's a shopping centre. There's actually two shopping centres in Paris. One is St Anne's and the other is just around the corner from the, from the bus station, St George's, which is which is actually a bus stop with a light only but not board. And there's another one too. Funny enough, there's two bus stand bus stops right around the corner from each other. One which is actually called Kemley Road, which I think is also having bus stations and she's bus stop as well. Although it's a bus stand, so yes, because passengers can like the bus but not walk. Staff can. And same thing at St George's Centre bus stop as well. I think staff can get on the bus but passengers can't. There you go. And that's all the facilities. And that's how a bus station as it is. So, what do you want to say to the viewers now? Thank you very much for watching. Oh, a good star, but anyway, thank you for watching this video and thank you to the guest stars.
Yes, thank you to my lovely ones today, brother. That's a period. That's a period. And of course, I'm a mum, the female fogger, and I'm man as well. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll see you folks then. Bye. And don't forget to click below to subscribe to to Mr. Mario Fan One YouTube channel. And click the and click the notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever I make a video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.